All right, YouTube, a lot of people ask me if my winch can handle the loads that I'm pulling onto this trailer because, I mean, they get pretty heavy. You roll up and, oh, the guy said it was 25 square, but it was a double layer roof. It's a pretty heavy dumpster after that. You're looking at about five tons. So one thing I like to do when I know it's going to be a really, 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 really heavy load, uh, and this isn't a very good example. There's some drywall in here and some rugs, and it's wet, so it's a little heavy, but not really that much. But one thing I like to do is, got my little uh, winch controller here, which is really nice. I don't have to be one of those guys holding my arm up for the controller. So I actually put my truck in neutral. And you'll notice my trailer rolls up to the dumpster. So this kind of freaks some people out. I usually leave my door open, as you can see over there, in case I need to run after the truck and turn something, you know, into the park position, but what I do here is I usually just winch her in, pull it up, and the truck actually rolls under it. I mean, this winch can pull in 18,000 pounds, easy. But the thing I like about it is, why be hard on your equipment if you really don't have to? And that's the whole goal here, longevity with your equipment. Don't be one of those guys that beats up on equipment thinking, oh, it can take it, it can take it, because one day, it can't. So right there, winching it in you can see the truck actually rolling backwards this definitely does turn some heads you'll have some grandmas that are like that kid doesn't have it in park we should stop and tell him but you don't gotta do that you don't gotta worry about that grandma i got this i know what i'm doing so she's going up she's going up she's going up sorry i can't turn you around i gotta actually turn the phone you see that Call this the tipping point. All right, I walk back over the truck. Move back a little bit more. I throw her in park. Because now, we don't have to worry about it too much. The mailman walked by, he was wondering why I was talking to myself, so I stopped the camera. But now, I go ahead and I use my other controller. I lower down the hydraulics, and then you'll just see Fix it up here on the back end because there's no point in pulling the winch uphill or the dumpster uphill with the winch because that obviously uses more energy so instead I get her down on the rails and I just pull her in the rest of the way flat yeah so if you ever see somebody in your local hometown and they're struggling to get this thing loaded you can always be like hey I know this guy on YouTube and uh, he showed me how to do it and then you can show him how to do his job unless you are like me and doing this yourself otherwise you can just look like a badass helping out your local small business dumpster operation so we're just going to pull this in the rest of the way there's that little controller again in out in out in out we're going to hit that in button nope we're going to turn it on first then we're going to hit the in button pull it in the rest of the way There you go. And then for safety, so the dumpster doesn't fly off and land on grandma's car, we're gonna latch that down. Make sure it's good. After that, I'm gonna undo that tarp, tarp this darn thing, and I'm gonna head to the dump. All right, everybody, that's your tip of the day. Stay safe out there and clean. Don't be a trash man, unless you wanna make money. <laughs>